You rolling? Ten away TV Prep Sports. We are here with another edition of Back of the Class. And today we all away with Big Nine Vibes who are in the Ninth Ward at Frederick Douglass High School. And I am here with Coach Corey McLeod and Athletic Director at Frederick Douglass. What's happening, Coach? What's up, What's up my brother? How you feeling? Oh, wonderful. Good to be here, bro. Good to be here. Welcome. Let's just dive right into it. Let's dive into the season, dive into your team, dive into your coaching staff, and then we're going to dive into your schedule. Gotcha. And at the end of this, we're going to dive into your alumni and talk to some of your guys. Right? So, plan, so let's talk about yourself, coach. Give the people where you come from in the coaching realm. Um, I was born and raised in New Orleans, and down here in the city. Played at uh, McDonald 35 and Nickel State University. The Colonels. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I was uh I was working in corporate America for a minute down in the CBD. Got a law firm for a couple of years and then Coach Frank Wilson encouraged me to get into the coaching game with we teammates at Nichols. Yeah, Coach Frank, yeah, real good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, so, I, knew, I knew his backstory. He was a security guard on cameras and everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did it all. Yeah. And so I had, uh, kinda went to Sarah T. Reed for a year and then um Moved over to Opera Walker for a couple of years with Frank, and then uh, then Katrina hit. Uh, Frank left, and uh, Coach T. With T. Wilson was the head coach, but then Katrina hit, and I uh, moved to Atlanta and coached at Westlake High School for two years. Yeah, that was my first year there, we had a junior quarterback named Cam Newton. And so, Get out of here! Yeah, I was, and I had, took some kids from Walker, and they was on the team with me. Okay, That's so uh, did that for a minute, and then. Uh, Got on the college level when I was out there. Started out at Morehouse as a part-time coach and then got my first full-time job at Savannah State University. Then kind of took off from there, moved up the ladder, got as far as Marshall University and then did two years in Carolina with the Panthers as well and then uh, tried to make another move. It didn't work out right, so I wound up coming back home and had a couple of offers, but I went to my alma mater, went to 35 with Coach Reese. Did that for five years and then got the call to come over here at the time. It was Kip Renaissance, but uh, it, then it changed the name to Frederick Douglass, what it is now. But been here, been the head coach for five years, four playoff appearances, yeah. two district championships. District champ. So, it's the champ. You yeah. See? yeah, yeah, represent. So we 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 think we're moving in the right direction, and you know we're ready to take that next next step. Let's talk about what we got going on here at the program. What's going on right now when we talk about the Frederick Douglass football program? Hard work. Hard work is going on right now. We it's camp season right now. We went we went out to uh, Houston for two days for the okay. University of Houston. Okay, camp. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, then we went to uh, then we went to Southern Miss, UL Lafayette. We do Wednesday seven on sevens with uh, at Destrehan. We went yesterday is thirty five every Destrehan car. So, you know, we y'all get work. Yeah, we, and we ain't ducking nothing. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like. The Saints call and tell invite us to mini camp for a seven on seven period. Yeah, no. Load up the bus, we yeah. <laughs> Let me let me let me ask you about your coaching staff. Talk about your coaching staff and who's on that staff and what position uh their job dudes on the staff. Cool, we got uh Coach Hamilton Duplessis, known as Coach Ham. Uh he coaches the uh, the defense, he helps with the defensive line, really the whole defense, but he's the defensive coordinator. Okay. Um, we have Coach Tory Dale, he's the D-line coach. Okay. Coach Quadri Antoine, he's the uh, linebacker coach, and uh, that's the get him hype dude. Don't get him hype. I got a guy a little up in age now, so <laughs> he's the, he the hype man. Um, coach Trouble, that's that's everybody's favorite. Coach Miller, Tyrone Miller, Coach Trouble, he's come from East, he's an Eastern Park guy. He's okay, yeah, coach, yeah. Uh, he coaches the uh, the DBs in our offense. I, I call the plays on offense, but I have uh, Coach JT. He's a uh, wide receiver coach. Coach D Man Desmond Haley. He's the running backs coach. And um, Coach Rashad Rashad uh, Stevens. He played for me my first year coaching at three five, and okay. now he's the old line. Coach. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. So we talk about the staff. One more, Coach G. He's the wide receiver coach slash. Get Coach McLeod in line, Coach. Oh, yeah. My first year, my first guy here, he was a senior that year. And oh, they had okay. only won three games, and we turned around and won the district championship in senior year. How is it, how is the uh, the vibe of the school since the name been changed? Do they want to pride, do they want Frederick Douglass pridefully? 
Yeah, and we have like multiple alumni associations. Like they got a couple of different alumni groups that really pour into the kids. Like for the last three, four years, they've been coming to us um, after the homecoming game. They feed the, the team, the band, the flag, the, the parents. Everybody out there eating is a good vibe, and they actually have a, a, a 5K weekend. It's next weekend, actually. Okay. And probably what they usually do, I haven't got the call yet, but what they usually do that Friday, the older football players come back and talk to these guys um, that Friday before they go out and get to celebrate. Like Keith Gardner, he usually comes back. And <laughs> and we're going we to get into the alumni, we're going to get into the schedule. We come right back on this edition of Back of the Class. And we are back, back of the class, Frederick Douglass High School, the Bobcats, Coach Corey McLeod. And now we're going to just get into the schedule, because that's the meat potatoes of what we got going on. We're going to get into the schedule, where you playing at, and who you're playing. Yes, sir. Week one, what's your week? Jamboree. Who we got Jamboree, Jamboree at Shelmet versus Shelmet. Okay, Jamboree, Shelmet at Shelmet. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into the season, week one. Week one, we got Baton Rouge Capital. Capital, yep. you on the road or you at home? We coming here, Pan Am, uh, September 3rd, 2.30 p.m. Pan Am, 2.30. Okay, then the next squad, week two. Week two, we got Mac Main. That's another Saturday night game. A Saturday night, I like Saturday night game. And Mac Main is a local school, Coach Shane Williams. Yeah. Not the Nickel State guys. Yeah, no, the Nickel like. State, exactly. <laughs> and me and him was rivals. He was a... Uh, we actually graduated high school the same year. He was a linebacker at St. Oh, and you were 35. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, McMahon, what you saying, McMahon, and what you know about McMahon that's going to have this game to be worth watching? Like you said, it's a city game. It's an old school 90s. Uh, Douglas McMahon. And the, th the one thing about this city with this one app, a lot of these kids all went to middle school together. So okay. they know each other. Last week we went against McMahon in 707. And, it was something like Kyron was the St. Rock kids. So okay. they had some St. Rock kids on their team. All right. So you know it was you know it's every game in the city gonna be, you know, it's up there. And that's a Saturday night game. Saturday night. Saturday night, night game, Mac Main. And then week three. Week three, we got Coach Francois and Livingston. Oh, oh. That's a Friday night, our home game. Is that and Coach, and, and Coach Fran talks really highly of you. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's a really high guy. Yeah. Good dude, like him. He came into the coaching game. I knew, you know, he was, you know, coming in and he was a first time head coach. And I knew how it was for me. So I would just reach out to him like I do go Dorsey. Oh, any head coach, you know, that's new to tell you, I can reach out to him like right. anything yeah. you need, brother, yeah. and help because it's funny, like everybody all on your back when you're at the press conference and all that <laughs> and the news, but then you sitting in the chair and you're like, Oh man, I gotta move this program. What I'm gonna do. Yeah. Before we move on, let me ask you about that. Being a new coach, what is the hardest? What is the hardest thing about adapting to a new atmosphere, a new situation as a new head coach? Um, the first thing after you get to know the kids and once you know, you know, all the kids and their situation and what they're coming from and who you can push hard and who you need to, you know, how you have to handle everybody. The next thing is understanding as a head coach that you can't do everything for yourself, but then they got some things that's non-negotiable that you gotta have your hands in on. So, you know, you know, taking that, you know, understanding what you need to have your hands in on and what you can delegate and trust to your staff to do because I love my staff. They yeah, we love our team, so yeah. So the Livingston game is? Friday night. Well, right. that's paying out for your home game. Yeah. All right. Then you come back week four. Who's on schedule? Week four, we're going to West St. John. West St. John. Yeah. That's a road game. Yup, on Friday night. Friday night. Then what you going to after that? Week five is our homecoming. Home we're playing home. against uh it's a Thursday night game against Jefferson Rise, a new program. A school that coach uh Francois said he actually was the first coach to start that. Yeah. Program. Jefferson Rise, homecoming, Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Let me ask this question about homecoming. Uh in the football are any of the football players eligible to be Mr. Bobcat and Mr. Nichols? Or y'all yeah, it happens. You know, as a coach, you know, you be stressing, but yeah, on, it happens. <laughs> like, it's cool. I'm, I'm all for whatever makes the school a better thing. Last year, Mr. Freshman was on the free time, our running back. Okay. Mr. Yeah. Freshman. And we work together, though. Like, you know, they know he's not going to do the parade. Right, right, right. At, right. at halftime, I made sure he had a dry jersey to put on the walk across the field. Yeah, and that's days. fine. That's, that's fine. fine. And I like, to see the, I like to see the players actually take part in the homecoming because it's really their game and they show. I'm going to tell you right now, clear your schedule. If you've never been to a Douglas homecoming, 
it's a whole show. Like I'm it, coming to Douglas Home coming it, It's something you ain't never seen before. I'm like, coming, I'm coming this year. I got to tell you, you got to. So after homecoming, who's next on the schedule? Oh, that's another Thursday night game. That's Country Day. Country Day, they Thursday night. Us, man, man. All right. Then after the country day after game, that, we get in the district. That's district, the and then y'all playing in Foy. Yep, that was a Foy school. First game, that was three. It was three times, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. First game, our first Foy district game, Thursday night. Uh, tag on with Warren Easton. Ooh, and we the home team. Warren Easton. Yep. What? It, what it's like? Or what would it be like preparing for those guys? Yes, that's what that's what you, you play this game for. That's what you look for. Like, you know, all other games, all that's cool, but you know, they ain't so much known as, you know, the big dogs in the city. And so that's where we going in order to get there, we gotta go through them. So we anxious for that. And they got some guys on that team too. Right? Yeah, they got some guys. They got some guys. Just like we got some guys. Yeah, 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 all right. <laughs> That's a game that we're going to look forward to. As long, 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 they, long as they, we get to put 11 on the field and they get to put 11 on the field after that, we're going to do our best and whatever happens, happens. I'm loving that part of it. That's going to be a big one. Thursday night district opener against Warren Easton. Yes, sir. Who's coming up after that? After that, we're going to Joe Brown on a Saturday. No, a Thursday night again. Another Thursday night. It's, uh, eight, at Abramson. At A. Yep. That's another district game. District game. And when you see us a new coach from Scott Morris, what do you expect to see from an Abe? Oh, um, I probably they, they probably gonna Abe always fights hard. Every time we play against mm -hmm. them, they fight hard. And once again, for whatever reason, they have a lot of kids who are in the Kip Network who go to Abe. So a lot of these kids know each other. Okay. And so that's always a a, a tough one. And I heard this year they 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 I don't know why, but they put us at the homecoming. That's tough. <laughs> and, they, and let me say this in AB fans, they had a tough time because from when I talked to the coach during the season, they hadn't even had helmets and had a spring game. So right. it's been rough for oh, yeah, them. But uh, Morris gonna do good. I know yeah. his family real well. Yeah, yeah, his older yeah. brother was real good. We real close friends. Okay. Uh, so Sylvester, that's the right. Yeah, we real close friends and the athletic director over there, Coach Williams, me and him were together. Okay. Things, that's so. good. That's big. Um, after the A game, who's on the schedule? Week nine, McDonald's 35. So, okay. Friday, 3 -3. Friday night. 3 30. Coach Frank Dags, 35. Frank D. Old Solomon Brown. What does that game mean to you personally, first of all, before we get into the, the, the component of the concept of the game? Um, I'm over that personally. I, actually, it's all about they the next game on the schedule. Right? Okay. All the personal stuff is out of it. Now, my first couple of years of coaching, you know what I'm saying? Coaching again, being on the sideline with Coach Reese on the other side of the field, that was kind of surreal. And then, uh -huh. <laughs> um, the crazy part about it, about the first year we played, but my first time coaching against Coach Reese, it was when he won for his 250th victory. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? That's but good. all the personal stuff out of it is like next week on the schedule is 35. And they know after last year, like it's, 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 it's kind of the last two weeks we played in the 7 on 7. And, out of those, out of all the teams that played, that was you can ask any coach. That was probably the two most spirited games. Right, that's good. The last two weeks, week ten, we finishing up. Week season. ten, we finishing with the battle of the nine at Joe Brown Friday night, a Thursday night call. Who the home game? It's called the home game. Ooh, my guy, Toe. Toe, both you guys game announcers, right? Mm -hmm. He gonna play that game. Up. Week <laughs> nine, five. Um, do y'all play for? Do y'all play that game for an award or a trophy or something? Actually, once we got in the district, we just said that uh, me and Byron, because you know he did AD over there. Right. Well, we talked about it, but we haven't you know, solidified it. Since I'm trying to get into this prep sport thing, I want to get in on all the rival games. Yeah. I want I want to solidify real rivalry, like play for something. Mm -hmm. I want in on that. We're going to talk. And then, like I told you, we, we showcasing everything that game, like, you know, band, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I bet that, I bet, oh man, a vibe for that gonna have to be. They're gonna shut you around now for that. <laughs> They're gonna have to shut it down for that. But, coach, that's the schedule. We're gonna come right back. We're gonna talk to some of your guys about the schedule and what they're doing at Douglas. When we come back to the back of the class, Frederick Douglas High School, Bob Cats. In the back of the class, and I'm here now with a player on this team, Mr. Kate Nine, Kendall Washington, defensive back, 11th grade, out of the great part of the Joe Brown Empire. What's happening, bro? How you feel? I'm cool. Yeah. 
That's good. Now, I just talked to Coach about this schedule, right? right. And I kind of want to get a fair perspective of what's going on with this schedule. When y'all look at y'all's schedule, which one of these games in a locker room that you boys get really up for? Uh, three five for sure. That, that, that's personal. And what, what makes it so personal? Um, I got injured against three five. Okay. That's, that's personal for me. All right. It's, it's really because we all cool, so like, we're going to our friends, so it's going to be right Yeah, and I got some guys that 3 5 2 look kicker. That's my guy, you know what I mean? I like kicker. One day, a white one, the line, that's my guys, too. Um, in the locker room, though, what's the uh, what's the what's the feel like in y'all locker room? Like, well, what I'm asking is getting up for a team like the McDonald 35, right? When you in the locker room, what y'all doing? Y'all talking, y'all rapping, y'all saying, y'all listening to a young boy. Like, what's the thing that gets y'all bucked up in the locker room to get ready? We listen, we listen to any, you know, terrible song, loud piece, any song. We talk about, we going over our, like, kids, and Robert, like, Robert C. Like, one of the girls, DB is going over their kids, and the actors, and so And then we can get locked in it. That's all it is. As a player, who's the guy in the locker room that get it turned up for y'all? Who's that guy? Dylan, Dylan, Dylan Jingle. Dylan Jingle. Dylan Jingle's in there? Come here, Dylan. Come on, man. Just come back here, Dylan. Dylan Jingle. I like the rod up, guys. This is something we're doing, bringing the guys in. Yeah. What position you play, Dylan? Yeah. D in? Huh? D line. D line. Dylan Jingle. What's happening, bro? So, K9 tells him you're the guy to get, the, get it going in the locker room. What's your method? What's your strategy to get these guys getting to their groove? You know, just, you know, getting the fight. And when we look at this schedule, K9 said 35. What's the game for you that gets you, ah, we want them? What's that game? 35? Okay, okay. So, but the Carver game, though, what does that mean to the players? The Carver, the big nine live game, what does that mean to y'all as players? It means a lot to you. So the night work, that's, that's big, that's big in the city. So we got to do our best, do our best, do our best out there for people. You know, whole, Oh, and now we got to be some old heads going to be out there talking. You know going to church across the street? I go to church right across the street from college. So, and then my partner's over there, my cousins and all that. So it's going to be packed. Yeah, uh, Bobo Robson's still at Cole? Running back. Bobo Robson's one of my guys from Body Train now. You know that? He's going to be MLK. MLK, I said Cole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm tripping. Um, I'm tripping. Don't worry about it. I, I trip off sometimes. I do that sometimes. It be like that. Um, what else we gonna talk about? Let's talk about some of the guys from Nichols. Nichols, see how I'm tripping? Yeah. Frederick Douglass, that kind of inspired the new wave of players on the table. Who are some of the guys that y'all know from the old school or the old ages you call them? I see Tyron Randall running back. Tyron Randall. You know, he pushed a lot of people to get better, like myself. Okay. Uh, Jason Shaw, Bryce Shaw, Jason 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 Shaw, uh, I say the wine Smith, you know, just do it all. Do it all the wine. Do it all the wine. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he that guy. I want to ask about a particular guy on y'all team, because I always want to get into Raphael, the quarterback. What is he like as a leader? What is he like as a quarterback to you guys? Both of y'all, I want to know from both of y'all. He really, like, he really put people in their place. Like, when, when he, he be playing sometimes, but when he's time to get serious, he gets to get right. He makes sure the robbers even know what they're doing, everybody on their plate before they call it. And then he throw, you know he throwing ball, he's throwing know, these. <laughs> <laughs> so Thank you, though. What you saying about him? Same thing, man. You know, bro, my dude, man. Me and him talk every day, man. You know, like brothers, you know. And, you know, he, he get on the flick, he got to do what he do, so the biggest one, so, you know, brother, that's what he do. And that's what it is, bro. We are here in the back of the class. Frederick Douglass Bobcats, Coach Cora McLeod, and Del Warston, K9. Mm -hmm. man, big deal, big deal. What's up, man? Mm -hmm. And that's how we come. That's the end of our show. We're going to dismiss class in a minute, but before we get out of here, we got the Frederick Douglass football players in the back, and everybody that's watching, we're asking y'all right now, take y'all phones out. Go to 1008 TV, Prep Sports, on YouTube, and subscribe to that page. 1008 TV Prep Sports on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Power back.